calories throughout the day because every time you eat a, a meal, your body has to secrete different enzymes to break down the fats, the carbohydrates, the proteins, and so on. Every time you do that, you're boosting your metabolism. Whereas if you go for, from, let's say, 10 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock at night, your metabolism has a tendency to slow down, and you actually don't even lose weight. Bodybuilders will start off having an oatmeal with egg whites whipped in, and then they'll have some fruit. Then later that afternoon, they'll have chicken breast, and maybe a whole wheat French toast, then a pancake. Then they'll have a pasta with vegetables. Then further, they'll have grilled seafood, and then fish or chicken. One of the worst mistakes some bodybuilders make nowadays is overtraining. As they get close to a contest, many physique competitors begin training five or six days a week, twice a day, and often with two intense cardiovascular workouts added to their bodybuilding training. When you're on a schedule like this, it's very difficult to stay anabolic. That is, in a state in which the body continues to build and maintain dense, hard, lean body mass. Overtraining quickly leads to becoming catabolic, where your body metabolizes and cannibalizes your own muscle tissue. The same thing happens when you go into ketosis, or when you don't ingest enough quality protein to support your muscle building workouts. A lot of bodybuilders seem to swear by the philosophies of more is better. Nothing succeeds like excess, or too much is never enough. But developing a bodybuilding physique, whether you're planning on serious competition or just trying to get into the best shape possible, involves a combination of intense effort and judicious restraint. Train hard, eat well, get plenty of rest. A balanced and reasonable approach to getting the most out of your body. Rest and recuperation are important elements of this equation, as are not overtraining and not dieting too strictly for too long. But along with diet, there's another element of eating that's very important, what you eat. In other words, nutrition. people are surprised to find that bodybuilders are not as interested in nutrition that is in healthy eating as you might expect. Primarily we're concerned with effective eating, that is by creating a diet that will allow us to build muscle mass and minimize body fat. What the usual bodybuilder diet tends to lack is variety. They tend to eat the same sorts of things day after day. Chicken, egg whites, fish, plain baked potatoes and rice, and some vegetables and salads and then they tend to make up for whatever nutritional deficiencies this type of diet involves by taking large amounts of nutritional supplements. However, a lot of bodybuilders nowadays are coming to realize that one way to increase the effectiveness of their diet is to think in terms of nutritional quality, in addition to simply paying attention to how much protein, carbohydrate, and fat they've included in their daily diet regimens. And how do you do this? Actually, it's not that complicated. You really don't need a nutritionist looking over your shoulder in order to improve the quality of your diet. You simply need to be aware of the certain basic principles involved in eating. For example, use variety to increase nutritional quality. Different foods contain different nutrients in different amounts, so it doesn't make sense to eat the same diet every day. There are enough different sorts of green, yellow, and other vegetables that you can go days or weeks without eating the same vegetable twice. The same is true for fruit and starches, such as potatoes, sweet potatoes, brown rice, wild rice, and pasta. And eating a wide variety of different foods is not only nutritious, it avoids the boredom that frequently spells disaster when it comes to serious dieting. Eat the highest quality food you can find. All things being equal, fresh is better than frozen. Frozen superior to canned. Processing tends to diminish the nutritional quality of food.
Some types of markets feature food that is fresher with fewer preservatives. In addition, those bodybuilders concerned with health as well as physique like to seek out stores that sell organically grown food, free from contamination by pesticides. Much of this, of course, is a matter of personal preference. It's up to you how seriously you wish to pursue the health aspects of eating. But you should at least be aware of what the choices are. And finally, don't destroy nutrition through preparation. In general, broiling meat or steaming vegetables preserves nutritional value better than frying or boiling. Frying tends to add fat, and when you boil food, much of the nutritional value is lost to the water. Microwaving is another good way to cook food without destroying nutrients. If you're into cooking and want to know more about how best to prepare food, there are shelves full of books on the subject in any good health food store. In the past few years, bodybuilders have come to realize how important it is to drink sufficient amounts of water on a daily basis. Water continuously moistens our lungs. It helps us to maintain our 